Thank you for your audience. Um, yes, my name is Sean Murphy, 104 Sherman Hill Road. Thank you. Um, I just briefly want to make a statement about last month. Um, I came to address an issue I saw the meeting from July on video. I was not here. And I waited two hours to speak. Um, I have some political experience uh, where I happen to know that it's a violation of state law to change something on an agenda without voting on it. I have since confirmed that. I called a, someone I know personally, uh, Judge Tony Nania, who lives up in Canaan, who's also been a town attorney. I'm not sure if it's for his hometown or if it's for another town. And I can't recall if it was either a two-thirds vote or a three-quarters vote to change an item on an agenda. And what, what, effect, what bothers me about it, uh, some people were upset. I understand that. Whether that was appropriate or not is another topic. I spoke up and was ignored by Mr. Clark and, and I believe everyone else. I said, uh, there's a state law. I was about this, that this is illegal. I was never even given the courtesy of being heard. And I, I don't feel that that's fair to treat people. And that's all I have to say about it. Uh, if, any, I, I will, if someone wanted to comment on that, I will be glad to listen to them. But uh, it is required by state law to make a vote to change something on an agenda. I checked it with a practicing attorney and former probate judge. Um, so if anyone uh, wanted to say something back to me, I'll be glad to hear them out. Okay, thank you. Um, Mr. Overton, I have a couple questions. Uh, of some issues that were brought up at the last meeting you were in attendance in July. Um, did, am I correct? You got a legal opinion relating to po uh, regulating political signs. Is that correct? Thank you for your question, Sean. I am not obliged to answer here. And why is that, sir? Thank you for that question. Sir, I find your... Um, Attitude disrespectful and unprofessional. Uh, can I just know who the five seated members are? Mr. Teacher, are you seated? Yeah. Mr. Cosgrove, you're seated? I know you are, sir. You're chairman. This is a state statute. Uh, I know you are, Mr. Clark and Mr. Green. Um, pursuant to your comments in July, since you're not willing to clarify, I'm going to have to just guess on what you were doing. Uh, if you go to... Actually, can I borrow one copy? Because I wrote this one. I wrote no time. 1-210, subsection B, subsection 25, subsection E, subsection 1 of state statutes. I actually researched this. Um, any advisory opinions or recommendations, I highlighted it for you folks. Mr. Overton, I'll leave you a copy of this. Um, our public information it says right in the statutes themselves. If well, you can three minutes. I'm, in, I'm happy to let you keep talking, provided that there's some control over what you have to say. Are you finished? Um, I just would like to have this. Re I would like to have a vote on this immediately. I have furnished you the state statute, which says you are required by law to release advisory opinions. There is no lawsuit, and I would like a vote to release this information. Taxpayers paid for it. I don't. I think I've done more than my due diligence, and I do not appreciate my questions not being answered. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else like to address the commission? Going once. Twice. Thank you very much. Moving right along. Consideration of the minutes uh, for July 12th, August 2nd, and August 9th. I think we'll take them separately.